Despite the improvements highlighted in this presentation, there is more to accomplish. The enormous cost of achieving hospital seismic safety has delayed the enforcement of SB 1953. The effort to create seismic resiliency in multifamily housing has had limited success, success and with the inventory of soft story buildings and with a few voluntary and one mandatory soft story retrofit ordinance enacted in the East Bay. Unknown numbers of school buildings have structural and non-structural life safety hazards. In 1995, Tom Tobin encouraged earthquake professionals to be the agents of change. Moving from the conference room to the boardroom, city council chambers, and to the halls of the legislature. Tobin stressed that earthquake risk is not so overwhelming that we can't start reducing it. I would like to make that same call to action today. The need is still strong for earthquake professionals in their organizations and community champions to be the agents of change. These individuals must take this information to their conference room, their boardroom, city council chambers, and to the halls of their legislature. The 2010 update of the Hayward Fault Scenario Earthquake is available online on the EERI Northern California Chapter website.